Hi guys, welcome to Doc Mom's Kitchen. I'm Dr. Shweta and today we are going to bake some lovely pav buns. They turn out super soft, light, airy and very very tasty. I would tag these buns as healthy because number 1, they are home baked, hygienic and fresh. Number 2, they are devoid of any chemicals, preservatives or additional gluten. And number 3, we are using half and half of refined and whole wheat flour here. So, let's get baking. First of all, take warm milk in a bowl, add sugar and yeast to it and give it a good mix. Cover it and keep aside to bloom for 15 minutes. Now this mixture should turn frothy which indicates that the yeast is alive and activated and you can proceed with the further steps. Take flour, milk powder and salt in a kneading plate and make a well in the center. Pour the yeast mixture into it and start mixing. I required around 1/3 cup of water to knead this dough. The amount could vary slightly according to the quality of flour you are using. At this stage it feels very sticky, but don't add any additional flour. Transfer it to a clean counter and knead until it becomes smooth. It could take good 7-8 of your minutes. See, after 7 to 8 minutes of kneading, the dough is no longer sticky. It feels quite smooth and soft now. Gather it and keep it in a covered bowl for 1 to 1 and 1/2 hours to ferment. The dough has beautifully risen and doubled in size after 1 hour. Knock it down and knead again for 2-3 minutes. Adding butter at this stage gives a nice flavor to the buns. Prepare a baking tin by greasing butter onto it. Pinch out lemon-sized balls from the dough, smoothen them, and place in the baking tray. You can do that by rolling it over the counter or within your hands, and try to place the smoother side facing upwards. Here is another method called tucking and rolling that could be used. After all the buns are rolled out, cover the baking tin and leave the buns to proof for 1 hour. This is after 1 hour. The buns have doubled in size again. Now, brush them gently with milk, taking care not to damage them. After baking at 200 degrees centigrade for 15 to 18 minutes, that is how they look. Brush them again with some milk while they are still hot. You could use butter for a shining glaze too. Brushing with milk or butter helps to keep the buns soft. Remove the buns from the baking tin and place on a wire rack to cool down. Buns have cooled down completely. Let us check how they have turned out. See guys they can be pulled apart effortlessly have baked perfectly from the center and are light and airy like cotton balls This video is from the next morning guys see the buns are still so soft and fresh Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If yes, please do not forget to hit on the like button. Please do subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified of the next healthy and tasty dish recipe from Doc Mom's Kitchen. Take care.